Hi there everybody. Just a little bit more about our hydraulic ram pump. We've done a bit of a change of design and we're using an old bottle. Actually it's just like a mineral water bottle. Here it is here. This is going to be our pressure vessel. It's a bit more compact. Anyway, I, saw, I, did, I actually did see this idea on someone else's on the internet, so I have stolen the idea a little bit. But it seems to do the job anyway. Colin's going to switch the pump on over there. We're using a water bottle over there. Switch her on then, chicks. Switch her on. Hi. That's Colin Mojer up there. He's my trusty assistant. Switch it on then. Oh, he's done it. Sorry, he switched it on. Now we switch on the other one down here. Here we go. We switch it on. There we go. On it goes. We've got the uh, output one shut off at the moment. We'll just give this a little bit of a tickle. Get him going. There she goes. Now she's starting to pump now. This is a, a regular brass swing check valve. We've got the snifter valve over here. See that just down here? That sucks a bit of air in. In, into the, to help pressurise the vessel. This is getting really tight now. That's really getting really, really tight. Can we feel this, Colin? This is really tight. This is really getting compressed with the air. Have a squeeze. There we go. I think it's time to open up the valve now. Let's open her up. Here we go. We're opening her up. Oh. What's happened? <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> and look at that there, there we go. We're going to have a look round. It's going up and over the wall, our outlet. And then we're going to have a look and see what we've got round here. That's Porsche down there. Hi there, Porsche. Let's have a look at it. There's our output. How about that? Uh, What's that? 14 feet roof. Oh, yeah, we're coming over a 14 foot wall here. Look at that there. We've got a good good pressure coming out this end. Yeah. Hot day, Not bad, eh? Sweating away, and you just wanted to relax and Let's take go. all your clothes off, really. <laughs> and have a nice time. What's that? Well, anyway, enough of that nonsense from my assistant. Let's go have another look at the pump again quickly. Here she is. It's a one inch pump, this one, made of one inch plastic fittings, apart from the, uh, the swing check valve, which is this little baby here. There's our non return valve. As I say, we just use a, a two litre plastic bottle. It's just fixed on here with a little coupler down here, one inch coupler. Um, there's really nothing much to these pumps. You've got two moving parts. That's the one impetus valve there. And the non-return valve, that's just like a ball, like a marble going up and down, seating on a little rubber seating to stop the water flowing back down to the pump. Um, that's about it. Very simple design. Been around for over 200 years, pumping water all over the world. It's a very, very simple design. It'll, like I say, it'll pump water wherever you want it, really. That is it. We did this just made this for a bit of fun, really. But, like I say, if you've got a stream, you can actually um, pump water up from your stream to fill up a tank. And you could have leaky hoses doing your vegetables or filling your pond up or whatever. There up and that's the outlet there. Go up and over the wall as you can see. These are the drive pipe. I should have mentioned that earlier, that's your drive pipe. It should be made of metal really because it transmits the um the pressure wave better. Basically the water whizzes down here, slams this valve shut, momentarily there's a high pressure load, which is forced up the non-return valve compresses the air in here and it forces it out there. You've got to have this little snifter valve here, that's very important, the little snifter valve, that, that injects a little bit of air in. Every now and again you see a little bit of air coming up in this pressure vessel just to, just to keep it nice and pressurised to force the water out. Anyway, that's it, get out there and make yourself a round pump. Good fun. See you later.